This is gonna be a long video, so let me do this intro as quickly as possible. Yes, Jeremy, please subscribe. Hello and welcome back to X-Life and more importantly, Jeremyville. We named our town Jeremyville because Jeremy is the one and only and it's nighttime and this is scary. Oh, and it's back today. Remember last time when I spent ages trying to get an unbreaking villager? Well, I popped on to get a screenshot for that video for my thumbnail. And guess what? I wanted to get one villager just to plop in here so I could start trading some more lanterns from them and stuff. First one I tried, Unbreaking Free. That's that's cool. But hey, I'm not complaining. At least we've actually got an Unbreaking Villager now. And we actually managed to put it on our last suit because I did some testing and it actually makes a difference. You get so much more stuff when you put the lasso on. And you can see already, this pig man here has been spitting out gold nuggets. That's a lovely amount of gold we should be getting there. So we're going to be working on upgrading those things over time. We kind of need to get a ghast before we can get the next one. And I'm not sure if you can put them in the mob farm, but we'll try it. And then we'll be able to upgrade them with ease. But you can see here, we grew some flowers just for decorating in front of our barn there. And they're all looking very nice. Oh, I like these ones. These white foxgloves are cool. But obviously... This little section by the river here is not the best option for growing. So we're going to get a little flower field and potentially greenhouse set up later. I think just over here as I want to get as many of these different types of flowers as possible because they're really fun to grow and they look awesome. But first, I've had an idea and this idea involves me getting a lot of diamonds. And to get a lot of diamonds, I need to do a lot of mining. What I realized the other day is emerald tools are actually better than diamond tools. And we have a lot of emeralds, as you can see here. So I'm going to make a couple of enchanted emerald hammers. But you can see down below, our enchanting points are very pathetic at the moment, a measly 28. So we're going to have to go to our zombie XP farm down below and grind out some XP because I'm planning on streaming streaming on my second channel, more smallish beans, check it out, You're collecting a load of diamonds. So I'm going to FK here for a while and hopefully by the time I'm back, I'll have at least level 40 in enchantment levels. See you in a bit. Boom, a bit. And we have 52 levels, which is pretty good, pretty good. Wait, I just heard a wandering trader. Does he have any good trades? Ooh, capturing free. That's a pretty good sword. Capturing gives you the mob eggs, I'm pretty sure. I'll buy that. We could always use a spare diamond sword. Also, wither skulls. Trying to collect them. I'll buy some more. I think he can only sell five. There we go. And also three emeralds for a diamond? What? Okay, I'll do all of those as well. Five diamonds. Quick life history update. 24 hours already on four hearts. Not bad. So I've made a few tools. Let me show you. We have two emerald hammers. One isn't bad, but the other is really good. Look at that. Minus fervor, efficiency five, magnetic silk touch. We've also made an excavator. So we have all the cool enchantments on that as well. And that basically works like a hammer, but with dirt and stuff like that. So here is what happened on my live stream. We went mining. And then we did some more mining. And then we did some more mining. And here we are now at the end with our hammers very used up, as you can see. Luckily, they had mending on, so we were able to fix them along the way. And we also have da -da! a full load of diamonds. This is four stacks, roughly, of diamonds. If I pick them all up, I will show you. And we actually gave one block to Lizzie, as she's going to be representing us later in court. Nearly four stacks. It was four stacks until... I gave one to Lizzie, so maybe I'll just add an extra block in here so we can say that it is over four stacks. There we go, 29 blocks, which equals more than four stacks. Beautiful. We're going to pop these in our chest for now, as we'll be saving those for later. But for now, I have another plan, and that is that I want to get a farm going for all these awesome flowers in Lizzie's mod. And I also need somewhere to store all the seeds that I will be getting, so I thought... A greenhouse would be perfect for that, and then we can use the fields around here and over there to actually grow these flowers. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the greenhouse over here. I've just like sort of converted all this land, made it look a bit nicer. And I think just here would fit perfectly. And I've designed one which I think looks pretty cool. It's a reasonable size, but there's a lot of seeds, so it needs to be kind of big. I think we have to bring Lazy Beans back out, as that's right. It's time for our first time lapse of the episode. And in my opinion, this greenhouse looks pretty cool on the outside, but on the inside, it looks even better. I think this thing is looking awesome 
on the inside, which is kind of what you want because you use the inside of places more than you just stand there and look at the outside really, don't you? But I used some dark oak logs plus some of this green textured glass that we have in one of those wallpaper craft mods, I think it is. And I wanted to make it sort of like pointy in the middle and I used some like vertical slabs to do that because it's actually too wide, but the vertical slabs mean you can make it look nice and pointy, which you can't do in vanilla Minecraft, which I love about this mod pack. And inside we have a very sort of like overgrown looking floor with some grass in the middle where we're going to have some flowers and stuff. And then I just did lots of hanging vines and things like that because I thought they looked really, really cool. I love the hedges and how they look in this mod. And that brings us to here. As you can see, this thing's not huge. Fits in very nicely behind our never portal here. And we built this little path leading up to it as well. And we're going to have like flowers all around this thing. So I put paths down and like spaces for paths to go up. Hello, fella. You're right. But the inside is what matters. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love it. I think it looks awesome. Since the time that's actually added in a load more barrels, I had to go to the jungle and get some jungle wood and I had to go get some spruce wood as well. And it's looking really nice in here. I love it. I love how cute the ceiling looks. I'm very, very happy with it. And we've got a load of item frames here, which I just made of all oh, my leather, which I have. It's actually coming useful for once. And we're going to plop item frames down on every single one so we can label these. We know which seed is in which barrel. Hmm. The item frames kind of make it look ugly now. I'm going to pick them all up again. We actually have these glass item frames, which appear invisible. So, smelt some glass. Now, I've been using these regular old furnaces for a while, and I forgot that you can actually upgrade them. Starting with the iron furnace, then I'm pretty sure moves on to gold, then diamond, then emerald, and finally obsidian, which as far as I can get from now, there's actually one better than this, but I need a never star. Now, we have an obsidian furnace. Let's see how well this thing runs. Let's put some sand in. Wow, look at that. That's so much better. And there we go. We've got 64 glass item frames just like that. Hello, what have you got for me? I'm going to make sure to always buy the diamonds from these wandering traders now because I just have unlimited emeralds, but I don't have unlimited diamonds. All right, let's pop all these item frames on for now. They'll look a bit ugly. Once you put the seeds in, they'll look a lot better. And I hate things looking ugly, so it'll encourage me to get as many seeds as possible. And speaking of which, I think it's time we started sorting out these flowers. And that's what this entire place is going to look like eventually. I love it now. The glass definitely looks better. And we can store the flowers in the barrel as well. So I've started clearing some land here, as you can see, where we're going to plant our flowers. And we're going to start with the rose bushes, as I really like how they look. But we want to get every single colour. And we've got five already, and there's ten in total, but one of them's black, so we'll probably just get nine for now, as we're probably not going to find the wither one. All right, and I found a flower forest using my nature compass. So hopefully we can get all the other colours here. <gasps> and look, there's some buttercups here. Whoa. But there's the allium. What's going on? Why are the rabbits so friendly? But anyway, here's the orange, giving us every other flower colour other than black, of course. And my idea, right, is to remove these. And we're going to have every single flower colour possible in the centre here so we can breed them all. There we go. I think we have every single flower we need apart from the wither rose. So let's get breeding one of each flower. Oh yeah, serious dedication. I just used a full diamond hoe up. Now, I have been busy. Look at all these seeds. Oh, baby, we've got a lot in here. Some kind of sideways, which is a shame. we got rose bushes. we got these ones, these ones. I've forgotten the name of all of them, to be honest. But as you can see out here, our flower farm is looking really nice. We've got all the different types of flowers. These are like the poppy hybrid ones, the rose bushes. I tried to do them in a rainbow pattern for a while, but I kind of gave up once I got to this point over here as it is... It, was just getting annoying but these ones are kind of rainbow as you can see and we've got lots of different types of flowers not all of them but for now i think that's looking really nice the flower fields the colors everything so i'm not going to harvest them just yet because i love how they look in these fields but when i come to build some stuff in the future and i need flowers i can always just hop over to my flower field pick some up and we'll be sorted but the time has come. So if you didn't know, I'm being sued by Megan. She gave me this book here, as you can see. She is suing me because she fell whilst using my shop and died. And today's the date. We're going to court and my trial begins. So I've got my suit on, as you can see. 
Lizzie is my lawyer. Let's see how this goes. So a lot of the servers showed up for the trial. Everyone looking their best in their lovely suits. CPK, Catherine and Fwip were the jury and Scott was the judge. Lizzie was representing me as my lawyer and Megan had Shubble as her lawyer. Here's how everything went. Good day, good day. Honorable people off the court, there's no stairs here. Order. Everyone ready? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone may be seated. You may be seated. So we are gathered in this courthouse today for the trial of Gamer Buddy versus Smallish Beans. Prosecution would like to give their opening statement. Hello, jurors. Hello, everyone else. We, as a community, when we make a public space like Spawn, we expect it to be safe. When we go to Spawn, we're not expecting to have to be on guard at simple local businesses. There should be a standard level of safety we can all rely on. And Joel abused that feeling of security when he built an 11 block tall ladder with no signs, no railings, and no water to fall into. We as a community must do better. Defense, would you like to give your opening statement? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the court. Judge Scott, the jury, thank you for taking the time out of your day to attend this trial. This trial is a frivolous attempt to pass the blame onto an innocent man. Throughout this trial, we anticipate that his moral character will be misrepresented by the opposing counsel to push a fictitious narrative of wrongdoing. We ask that you first get to know this man for who he really is. Smallish Beans here is a husband, a father to two beautiful pets, a hardworking, Minecraft builder, and an upstanding member of the X-Life community. In today's trial, you will be presented with evidence of the safe use of the shop by many other players. You will be presented with evidence of a continued pattern of reckless behavior from Strawberry17 <laughs> to support the conclusion that she is wholly responsible for her own death on that day, not the defendant. Smallish beans. So some pretty strong opening statements. Prosecution then brought forth their witness. So Mika, do you promise to uphold the truth, not to lie in the courthouse, and to speak with honor and integrity? Uh, yes, I promise. Okay, <laughs> you may continue with your examination of your witness. Could you yes, just first describe in your own words what you witnessed? Oh, it was a tragic scene. Um. I, I witnessed one of my best friends fall to her death, go to a clubhouse that doesn't even have a clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I'm too shaken up. He tried to tell her that she should be the one to build it because she now is the only member of the Three Heart Club, but it was his doing that left her all alone. Do you have any experience with building and maybe construction safety measures that should be taken? Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Objection, your honor, hearsay. Rip Mika is not an expert in construction. <laughs> Okay. Would the defense want to cross-examine? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Rip Mika, you were present at the death of Strawberry 17. Could you tell me who else was present on that day? Shelby was present on that day. And could you tell me in detail what occurred in the 20 seconds or so preceding Strawberry 17's death? Do you remember perhaps commenting on the dangerousness of the ladder? Well, see, um, not really. Uh, how? <laughs> Did you watch any videos by chance? <laughs> I rest my case. No further questions for the witness. Then it was time for Lizzie to plead our defense. Your Honor, I present to the court Strawberry 17's Life History Book. If it pleases oh. you, I have a copy yeah. of you. I have a copy for all the jury members. So if you'd please turn to the first page of the Life History Book. This book details the two death events that have befallen Strawberry 17. Her first death, as we can see, was a mere 27 minutes after her arrival on X-Life. And it was caused by an unmarked lucky block which she did not even hesitate to open. This is evidence of her reckless behavior. Objection! She definitely hesitated for like two seconds. Objection denied! As you can see, the second death was the falling event, which we are here in the court today to discuss. The opposing counsel would have you believe that in the 29 hours between her first and second death, that Strawberry 17 was invested in her survival. But this could not be further from the truth. Strawberry 17 was in fact trying to lose a life. Your Honor, I have some more evidence to present. Can you all see this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I present to the court 
a screenshot of Megan's video what? titled Opening Lucky Blocks Until I Lose a Heart. Outright evidence that Strawberry17 is not cautious about her antics in the X Life world. Does the ex does he Who is objecting? That is here? a clickbait like, title. <laughs> oh, okay. <Sorry. laughs> I'd first like to call to the stand Solidarity Gaming. Now, Mr. Gaming, do you promise to tell the whole truth? And nothing but the truth. I do. I do. Mr. Solidarity, could you first for the court please list the number of ways that you have died on this server? Oh, um, you're really gonna do this to me? Okay. Um, <laughs> I've uh, drowned. I've drowned in a lagoon. I've died by a crab. And what was the last one? Oh yeah, I died in lava as well. A puddle, not a puddle, not a puddle. So as the court can see, uh, Jimmy has quite a lot of experiences with the dangers of this server. How many times have you used the shop on this server? Uh, I've used it two times. Has the shop ever caused you injury? Not at all, no, no. Not a single heart? No, no not a single heart. I, I know how to use the ladder going up it and down. Thank you, Mr. Solidarity. That is all the questions I have for you. Are you truly saying that you have never lost, maybe not a life, but maybe half a heart? Maybe even just taking a hit, but you didn't lose any hearts from falling from a ladder? Maybe elsewhere, but not on Smallish Bean's shop, no. Miss Shadley, did you have any other witnesses you wish to call for? Yes, yeah, so I'd like to call my next witness, Joey Graceffa, to the stand. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, it's just, it's very difficult to be here and to look over um, that side, so I, I won't be looking that way. I, I, I can't look at her. <laughs> but I'm, oh! if, if, Your Honor, if it's okay, I would just like to look at at um, this side of the courtroom. Yes, that is fine, Mr. Gosef. And I do you promise okay. to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Uh, I do. Mr. Graceffa, as a longtime friend of Strawberry17, how would you mm -hmm. describe her behavior here on the X Life server? She's caused me distress while I've been on the server. You see, um, my first day on the server, I came across a very beautiful, small, innocent turtle um, that needed a home. <laughs> And I was providing him a lovely home. His name was Jason. Uh, the story is not relevant to this case. Oh, it is. Uh, uh, Your Honor, it's very relevant. I Your Honor, I argue that this story is relevant. It speaks to Strawberry 17's character. Objections denied. The following day, I logged on the server to see that my turtle was missing and replaced by a frog. <gasps> and I was so confused and distraught at where my uh, precious ninja went. I soon found out that Strawberry17, aka Gamerberry, she broke into my home and she stole my turtle from me with her lasso, which by the way, she's very reckless with. I, I was willing to forgive her because, you know, maybe it was just a joke, but it turns out that she murdered my <gasps> poor innocent turtle and I was heartbroken. If she's willing to murder a small innocent turtle, who's to say she's not to do that to one of us or herself? <laughs> for that matter. Could you also speak to the character of Smallish Beans as a simile you are a longtime friend of his as well? Joel has been nothing but an honor to have on the server with his gorgeous builds that he provides for our viewing pleasure and <laughs> It's just truly best party. something to be you admired. Cannot threaten. The turtle died by accident. Nobody had actively killed the turtle. Is that a question? Objection, you're on a leading question. Yes, please keep it more direct. Oh God, how much TV do you watch? <laughs> <laughs> Both sides then gave their closing statements and it was left up to the jury to decide the verdict. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fripp's taking yeah. his suit jacket off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a long, long discussion. <laughs> Have the jury came to a verdict? Yes. And we have come to a decision that Joel is innocent. Yes. Oh, okay. with, with some jury. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Court. You don't with get a little, uh, with a little thingy, a little thing in the bottom. We think what? it was just an accident, but it would be nice if he added a safety feature for next time. Can I say I will, I will, I will add the barriers to protect <laughs> the young innocent people <laughs> like Megan on the server who are unable to use ladders properly. Goodbye. Thank you. So as you can see, your boy is innocent. Thank you to Lizzie for pleading my case. She did a brilliant job. And if I ever need a lawyer in the future, I'll make sure to hire her again. Although now everyone on the server knows how good she is, she might raise her fee.
But to celebrate, I feel like doing some building, and we're going to actually head over to Solidarity's house right now. Are you sure this is it? Yep, yeah, there's his cabin there. I don't know where he's got his waystone at the moment, though. Oh, I can see him. He's chilling in there. Ring the bell. Jimmy, I heard you're looking for something to be built. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm looking for something to put this. Wait, have you moved? No, this. This little waystone down here. I'm, waiting. I'm, I'm oh, looking yeah. for a... It to be placed in some something a little bit better. It's looking a bit a bit camouflaged at the Is, moment. Yeah, I did. I, I was wondering where it was. I couldn't find it. I was looking for it a second <laughs> ago. So yeah, I can. I can okay, so well, I'm thinking it's a lagoon, some kind of like ship shipwreck or something like that. We don't. We can't have yeah. like a perfect ship in here because it's a loser lagoon. I was about to say so. It, yeah, it's it's, it's got to be something broken. It's got to okay. be something like destroyed. Like, so, like you, broken. But like me, broken. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, I think I can work with that. Well, I get to work and we'll be back when it's done. I guess. Okay. Right. Perfect. Sorted. I'll see you in a little bit. And we did get to work on it pretty much straight away. As you can see here, we are clearing out a bit of space because obviously I didn't want this ship to be too big, but at the same time I didn't want it to be too. Small small either and I only built like the front half of the ship another thing Jimmy said that he would pay me for this in diamonds so I'm gonna see what he wants to pay after he's seen it because I honestly have no idea how much to charge but I gave it an overgrown sort of wrecked feeling and I feel like it looks pretty nice and there we go I think it's looking really good and one thing you probably didn't see on the time lapse is this little dude at the front here you know how they have like little things at the front of ships Put this guy here. I think it looks kind of cool. Use one of my wither skulls, but it's fine. We still got loads. And if we get more wandering traders sending us some, we'll have plenty for the time being. I've also let a little sign saying that he puts his waystone here. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's head home to Jeremyville. Now, I'm going to use these diamonds next time because this video is already really long and I have very much run out of time right now. So make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching this episode of X-Life. Subscribe for more and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.